Well, it's once again time for our new moon manifesting. And this month, the new moon is going to be in the sign of Pisces. And Pisces is a water sign. So we're going to be using the element of water to help us in our manifesting of our goals and aspirations. There was a Japanese scientist named Dr. Masaru Imoto who did some experiments with water and he found that water could absorb the energies, the vibrations of its environment of what it was exposed to. So he took quantities of water, probably placed them in a bowl and exposed them to various types of sounds and even written words. And the results of his experiments were pretty amazing. When he took the water that had been exposed to beautiful music and loving words, uh, he found that the ice crystals that formed when he froze that water were absolutely gorgeous. They formed these beautiful, beautiful, balanced, symmetrical patterns. But when he froze the water that had been exposed to the low vibration, the curse words, the anger, the discordant sounds, there was a totally different story. When he froze that water and he looked at the ice crystals under the microscope, he found that the ice crystals were not beautiful. They were unbalanced, malformed, and he was able to reach the conclusion that that water had indeed absorbed the energies from its environment. When you think about it, our bodies are mostly water. So think about how that water in your body might be responding to those things in your environment. Kind of makes you stop and think that it really is important to surround yourself with high vibrational energy. So today, we're going to be taking a bowl of water to manifest our goals and aspirations. So I want you to imagine that I have written my goals on this piece of paper the way we normally do. I have taken my bowl. Now it doesn't have to be a crystal bowl like this one. And you probably don't want to have a lot of writing on the bowl. Uh, a clear bowl is preferred. It's really important that that energy is able to really reach the water. And my bowl does have a pattern on it, but I think of this pattern as being a very positive pattern. And so I kind of like the idea that it could add some energy to my manifesting just through the pattern on the bowl. I feel like the water may be absorbing some positive vibrations from that pattern. So think about uh, how you want your to set up your, your bowl. Um, and I would put it on a plain background. Here I have plain black and here's my paper and you, you're going to be writing something on there. Okay. If you want to, you could even put a picture on there. If you have a business that you want to manifest some positive things for, uh, you could put a place, a business card on there and write positive words, perhaps financial prosperity. Don't write abundance. Okay. Write financial prosperity, um, success, and that sort of thing. And let that water absorb those positive words that you've written on your paper. So then what do you do with the water after you've charged it up with those high vibrations from your goals? Well, think about how your body being mostly water could absorb those positive energies and you can internalize that by drinking the water. I might make a really nice tea and add a few herbs that would enhance my goals. Um, right now, I'd like to sell a house and I'd like it to happen fairly, fairly quickly. So I might put a little bit of cinnamon in there. So maybe make some chai tea out of it. And then when I'm drinking it, I would imagine 
how I would feel when I get the news, get the offer for that property and how joyful I'm going to be. And then I would drink that tea and internalize it. So be creative with this. Okay. You're going to find that water is such an important element and find out more about it. Visit that website and see those experiments that Dr. Moto did and happy manifesting in the new moon in Pisces.